Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this cool toned look for you guys and glossy holographic lip featuring this beautiful curly hair that I got from the Soar hair. I hope you guys like how it looks. If you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. But before we start the video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, select all notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Alright you guys, to start off this look, I am going to be priming my eyes using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to set that with a bit of powder. And I think I used too much powder on my lid, but we're just going to make it work. So the first shade I'm using is called Riot Girl, and I'm going to apply this into my transition area. By the way, these are the new um, cover shot palettes in collaboration with the Golden Barbie. This is the Punked Eyeshadow Palette. All right, so I'm just going to apply that into my transition. Then I'm going to go in with this other shade. This one's called Headliner, and I'm going to apply this into my crease using a pointed crease brush. I'm also going to apply a bit of this to my outer V area and then just kind of build it up. These colors are really pigmented. I did have some fallout with this shade with the headliner shade it kept like falling onto my upper part of my cheek but you know a little bit at a time you shouldn't have any problems but to be on the safe side just do your foundation after the eye makeup okay now i'm going to go in with this beautiful shimmer shade this one's called punk and as you guys could see it's not really sticking onto my lid that's because i set my lid too much with the powder I wanted my lids to be sticky but the product is going on there the shadow is going on it's just not going on the way I wanted it to go on you know how it usually goes on nice and buttery smooth but I made it work I went ahead and added in the shade soft punch to the outer part of my lid and blended that together and then I'm gonna go in with these flash shadows from pop beauty it's almost like a creamy shadow product with glitter and pigment in it it's really pretty this one is in cosmic confetti and i'm just going to use this to go over the first shadow that i applied and just to give this look a little bit of extra something now i'm going to go in with this darker shade this one's called anarchist okay i'm going to apply it to my outer v and blend it into my crease and then for wing liner i'm using my nyc liquid liner and creating a very thin I would think modest <laughs> wing liner okay not nothing too dramatic but um you know at first I wasn't sure how I felt about this look because of a picture I took on my phone and sometimes phones can't give your look justice so I had to look at the look on camera so just to see the footage that I got from filming this if it didn't look good to me I probably wouldn't post it like it's not like one of my favorite looks but it's definitely a bit more different as far as the colors that I've used okay so I'm gonna reapply a bit of that flash shadow from pop beauty because I let it the first coat dry and I reapplied it just to make it more opaque and I really do like the glittery effect that it has it's like pigment and glitter in a creamy shadow product okay I'm gonna go in with my paradise mascara from L'Oreal and I'm gonna pop on some lashes you can use any lashes that you have available you don't have to use the lashes or products that I use just find things that are similar to recreate the looks once I have my lash on I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit of concealer under my eye area and just blend this out using a concealer brush or a foundation brush once I have that nice and set I'm gonna go back in with riot girl and the headliner shade and mix those two together and smoke out my lower lash line I wanted to do like a doll eye like look and not like a Halloween doll eye look but you know kind of make the eyes look very striking and I think I did that with this LA girl white liner this is their glide on gel liner and I applied two coats of it I let the first coat dry and then I went in with the darkest shade of the palette um, are an anarchist and used a liner brush to kind of clean up underneath my lash line this also helped clean up the white liner and then I reapplied a second coat okay now I'm gonna go in with my mascara and I'm using the same mascara from L'Oreal to apply to my bottom lashes and I have noticed that my bottom lashes have gotten fuller and I think it has something to do with the new pills that I'm taking for my thyroid so I will be doing a video on that for you guys I'm just kind of like the guinea pig right now testing out things for primer I am using the ColourPop foundation primer and it's supposed to help fill in the pores and 
extend the wear of your foundation so this is my first time trying it I do like the smell of it but I cannot tell you if it does that so I'll have to try it on a different day to let you guys know I do like how the foundation looked on top of it but as far as the wear I'm not sure but this is the Superstay Maybelline foundation which does last a long time on its own okay so I'm using the shade coconut I stopped using my warm coconut because I've gotten a lot darker so now I'm just using coconut which matches perfectly with my tan that I've been getting going into my kids pool yay okay let me stop <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend it out using a synthetic complexion brush from Royal and Lanical. This is from their Moda collection. I just became an affiliate with them, so now I have a coupon code for 10% off. Yay! If you guys want to use it, it is in the description box, and I'll put a little link there for you. Now I'm going to go in with the Cream Contour Kit from LA Girl, and I'm going to use the lightest shade to highlight under my eye area, and this one is in the shade Deep, this palette. And I'm just going to highlight under the eye area, bring it down to around my nose area, chin bridge part of my nose, and forehead as well. Well, and I'm going to use the darkest shade to contour with. I've been really liking how this looks as far as contour. It is a bit oily. If you have dry skin, you'll really like it. If you have oily skin, you will not like it as much, okay? Or you may have to put on a primer that's super mattifying and a lot of powder to take away all that oil, but I would definitely not recommend it for someone who has oily skin. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and contour the face using a small angular synthetic brush from Royal and Lanical Moda Collection. All right, and I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used to apply my foundation to blend out my under eye highlight. And this helps if the um, under eye highlight or concealer is too light. It kind of helps tone it down if you still have foundation left over on your brush and it helps blend it in really nicely. Once I finish blending it all out, I'm going to use the same brush to blend out my contour. Don't worry if it lightens up because I do go in with a powder contour to set everything and to deepen it up a bit more. I don't know, lately I just have not been in the super, super dark dramatic contour. I've, I don't think I've ever been in it, but I feel like my contour shows more during winter than it does in the summertime. All right, for setting, I'm using the air spun powder and I'm using a beauty sponge to apply that under the eye area. This is just to lock in my highlight and keep it from moving and take away a lot of that oil to make it nice and matte. And I do this to pretty much anywhere that I want to be matte and to not be oily. Okay, you guys. You definitely don't have to highlight, contour, and do all of that. It is not, you know, like a requirement to do a makeup look. You can just do the eyes if you want to. It's totally up to you. Whatever it is that makes you comfortable. Don't ever feel pressured into having to do every single step to achieve a look. If you're not comfortable with a full face of makeup, you definitely don't have to do it. I appreciate and I enjoy the process of it. It's a big stress reliever because um, I'm a mother of three. I own a house. There's a lot of stress in all of that. And I'm a wife to my mm -hmm. husband who's a truck driver who drives me crazy on a daily basis, but I love him so much. So I went in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pour um, powder. It's kind of like a pour vanishing powder. You can definitely use it on its own. It's translucent. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dust off all the excess powder because we definitely don't need it. We never need it. We never need it. But if you want to keep it on there, and that's your choice if that's what you like. Okay. So I'm going to take it all off. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of powder contour for my nose area and try to redefine my nose. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with Bronzified um, Loose Powder Highlight from Makeup Addiction. I'm just going to apply a bit of this to my cheeks and then just use my fingers to blend it in. I don't want it to be too, too bright where it takes away from the eyes, okay? Like the look is pretty dramatic and pretty bold already. So I don't want the highlight to be too, too bright and too, too dramatic. Okay, so everything I'm softening it up with either my fingers or a brush. So I applied the forehead highlight and then I go in with my foundation brush and just soften it up 
just enough so you can have a bit of highlight without it looking too too shiny and I applied a bit of this to my upper lip as well I'm using LA girls deep violet lip liner to outline my lips so I'm just outlining the perimeter and that's pretty much it I'm just gonna add in just a bit of shading to bring the color inward and then go in and then go in with my NYX liquid suede um, liquid lipstick in the shade amethyst is such a gorgeous purple color I don't know if you guys have noticed but I did change my background I'm hoping you guys love it and I hope it you know brings you some peace something I don't know but it is a very pretty color and I needed to change my background because I was just over the red one I was just over it maybe I'll bring it back in fall I, yeah I'll definitely bring it back in fall but right now we're just gonna have purple at least do about four to five tutorials with the purple background and then we can switch it out for another color does that sound good to you guys but anyway I hope you guys like it though I really really like how it looks okay so now for hair I'm not showing you know using my own hair in this look so I'm just gonna wig it and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video the hair is from Desor Hair Company and I'll have the link down below to the hair that they sent to me they sent me a 16 inch closure and four bundles of hair 18 20 22 and 24 inches and I created a quick closure unit with the hair and I really really like the hair just to let you guys know um, I just had some issues with it and you'll see that in the review when I post it okay so I went in with my lip liner and now I'm going in with this beautiful LA girl lip topper it is a lip gloss but it has this beautiful pigment in it okay it is called flashing opal and it's so 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 pretty the pigment in it is like a hot pink pearly opal purple mixture is super super gorgeous now I'm gonna go in with my wig I have to cut off the lace and and pop her on like a hat it is a hat it's a hair hat <laughs> okay make my adjustments and then go in I'm gonna use my um, I call this a fine comb and um, in the States some people call this a rat tail comb so I just kind of make a part in my natural hair apply a bit of surf paste and then now I'm gonna go in with the powder that I use to contour and I'm using a concealer brush just to apply that in between the hairs just to kind of make it look a bit more natural so I'm applying this right on top of the surf base and surf base is kind of like um, I'm not gonna say edge control um, it is not clear it's more of a holding product and you know you can kind of keep hairstyles in place with it and it's it is a tiny bit greasy but I like to use it for my wigs because I don't always have edge control when I need it so the surface is there all right so the hair was a bit um, dry so I went in with a bit of conditioner and water and just sprayed it a bit like I do like the hair I do like the curls itself but it was drying out on me a bit so just adding a bit of the conditioner and water helped to kind of tame it out because it was frizzing up a, a tiny bit on me okay so just doing that and finger combing just helped kind of tame that down and just kind of laying down my part right here just to finish All right, off you the guys look. this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it's a bit different than what I usually do but I wanted to do something cool toned and I've been wanting to do a purple lip glossy lip for a while now so hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and make sure you check out these videos that you may have missed okay and yeah don't forget to hit notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads I love you guys and I'll see you all very soon Thank you.